5,000 people are watching a fish play Pokemon. The fish has already acquired his first Pokemon, a Charmander named Ah. No, you don't understand. The, Ch the Chameleon is like level 20. What the? Even Mike Peace is in shock of the fish who can Pokemon. He's gonna evolve into a Gyarados by the end of this. Hello everybody and welcome to Kalbus. My name is Lumo and today we're gonna be looking at r slash Tumblr. It's posts from Tumblr by Tumblr for us the average redditor. Let's just get right into it. The best thing that ever happened to me in high school was about six years ago. Our teacher never showed up for class and neither did the sub, so one of the guys in the class just got up and started discussing various theories about the island in Lost, and started drawing different diagrams on the board and ranting about his fan theories. And everyone just went with it and raised their hands from like he was the teacher and that was the class. You know, honestly, that was probably more engaging, but it at least encouraged critical thought as opposed to consume knowledge. Vomit knowledge, forget knowledge. Real talk, I don't remember anything I was taught prior to college. Just as an aside, I, this, this is more engaging. I would rather talk about lost fan theories. Hi, I'm looking for a mature woman. Smiley face. Hold on, I'll get my mom. Your conversation partner has disconnected. I laughed way too much, oh my God. Not only is that quality bants, but I wanna break down all of what just happened here. So this guy's not even sure if he's looking for a mature woman because he put a question mark there. So it's, I'm looking for a mature woman? So he doesn't even know if he's trying to fulfill his kink right now. So that's step one. Step two, Omegle, why? Why? You can simp better on Chatterbait. Be efficient. And three, props to like just bitching out the second he almost got a mature woman. Like, you could have had it, homie. Could have been a single mom. Wizards can make fun of muggles all they want, but the joke's on them because phones can do in two seconds what they need owls and high level magic to do. And we have tanks. Try avocadoing a tank, you stick wiggling nerds. Somebody didn't get their Hogwarts letter. If I remember correctly, one of JK Rowling's uh, incredibly canon and logic making retcons was the fact that cell phones and electronics literally can't function on Hogwarts grounds. Meaning even if you had a cell phone, you cannot use it inside Hogwarts or like the ministry. Anywhere there's magic, cell phones don't work, which just seems so inefficient. But I guess, you know, you don't want the world discovering that muggles are, a, you know, not a real citizen to the magic and world. Which addiction is yours? God, I freaking love Uber too much. I cannot stop ordering Ubers to my house, having them drive me to the nearest bus stop, calling another Uber to go to the next one. Uber is one hell of a drug. Yes, I am addicted to Lincoln and also Adobe Photoshop. No, nope, you know what? You can be addicted to Adobe Photoshop. Zen, I know you're editing this. This is a call out post. You need to stop content aware scaling everything you can get your hands on. It's not healthy. Your mother and I were very concerned about you. You need to stop, son. Mexico. Mexico in American movies. You mean Mexico isn't naturally sepia? American directors, the sun just hits different. <laughs> I mean, do you guys remember when every single goddamn shooter game had like a gross brown filter applied to it? Like, oh, uh, why do we do this? These idiots fell right into my trap. The menu tonight is rich people soup. Oh, I bet it tastes like never working a day in their lives. Viva la proletariat. The scientific method be like, what if? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless. I hate this site. Whenever I see this what if, I always just remember this one copy pasta from a game I play that's just like, Oh my god, I accidentally half sent thou a picture of mine cock and balls. Pray thee, delete it. Lest thou's desire to look. <laughs> I just delete it. Should thee crave. Nah, nay, banish it. Lest. Old timey, I didn't mean to send you my dick. Nothing like a microwave timer to remind you that your perception of time is shit. You sit that frickin' of 45 seconds, go to grab something from another room, thinking your food will be done when you get back, and it's like 31 seconds left. Or you set it to five minutes, go to sit down, and it beeps as soon as you sit up. That is real. That is so incredibly real. Like, I went to get water and like 10 minutes passed, I'm sitting here just like, I just walked down and filled my bottle, what happened? Bisexual women and lesbians used to give broccoli to, <laughs> to the women they were wooing, symbolizing their sapphic desire in a poem. Sappho described herself in a lover wearing garlands of broccoli. 
The giving of broccoli was popular from the 1910s to the 1950s. Orders you a bowl of cheesy broccoli soup and winks at you from across this Panera bread. Now if that ain't big lesbian energy, I don't know what is. Girl, do you have a bush? No, but I got this broccoli for you. Stop telling yourself that the grass is green on the other side, because it's not. It's greener where you water it, so take control of your life and start watering your own pastures and grow your own greener grasses. This is real advice that's actually good. I'm putting that out there now. Frick grass! Clover is a nitrogen-fixing leguimi, and dandelions are super useful. <laughs> leguimi? What is a leguimi? Be the weeds. Grow on concrete in defiance of those who would thwart you. It's also greener where you bury a body. This post really went for a ride, so the first two really good. Be stubborn, be persistent, take control of your life. Third one? Maybe good if you're trying to hide the body, you know, to put it in some nice green grass. You know? That's a lot of good life advice. How to kill your enemies and get away with it. What if instead of drops, rain fell all at once, like a two inch thick sheet of water just goes thwap and then it's sunny again? Fact. This is what would happen if there was no air resistance. It would literally come down so fast, it would just kill us. Oh. So now, first of all, they're a Hoovian, so don't engage. But second, uh, there's an XKCD comic about this. And so you're like, if the water just did that, it, like just one massive drop fell, as opposed to, you know, it's sprinkling down little drippy droppies of pleasantry, it would be the force of a nuclear bomb and spread out like a, a, a wave of death. Like anything that it hit on the ground would be vaporized. It'd be terrifying. We were driving past the cemetery and my dad said in a dead serious quiet voice, I know something you don't know about this place. The people living in this town aren't allowed to be buried here. And I was really confused, so I asked why and he said, Because they're still alive. Frick you dad with your creepy dad jokes. Ah, it's top tier. That is top tier. Please look at this picture of Michelle Obama and Sportacus. Ah, uh, he might not be number one, but he's getting there. <laughs> Jesus comes from the shortening of the Hebrew version of the name Yahshua. Well, Christ simply means the anointed one. To make this clearer to modern Christians, I propose a new Bible translation where Jesus is referred to only as Oily Josh. There's something really unsavory about Oily Josh and his 12 teenage friends. <laughs> Oily Josh and the Greasy Boys. <laughs> yeah, and that Judas guy? Real slippery bastard. The sky was a painting tonight. That's it. Sky pictures taken at gas stations are my aesthetic. This is like a dream I had, but I can't quite remember it. Man, that is absolutely beautiful. I, I'm putting money on that being the Midwest. That looks so obscenely flat. I, I love that. That's calming. Nude vampire with gloves. Tin type on silver. 1864. Artist unknown and possibly consumed. This is the greatest frickin' caption I've ever seen. Real talk? Um, vampires can't be seen in mirrors because mirrors used to be made out of with a silver backing. Now they're not, so vampires could be seen in mirrors in a modern day. Now you know, interesting fact. Getting to sleep peacefully. My body doing that weird falling thing? Fun fact! It's cause your body feels like, yeah, it's cause your body feels your pulse falling rapidly and is like, I don't know if you're dying or falling asleep and I'm not willing to gamble. So it shoots you up with adrenaline fuel to make you not die and it's one of my favorite facts. Yeah, it's also horrible. It takes me so long to fall asleep cause this happens so routinely. <laughs> I love the top comment. Hey, you alive? Your pulse is dropping fast. Me. Yeah. My brain. Vibe check! During class, one of the boys silently slid their calculator over to me and this is what I saw. I can't believe this man imprisoned Toby Fox inside of his calculator. I know that annoying dog. I know him from anywhere. He is the bane of my existence. The dog has absorbed the math. Hagrid Hagrid Potter, you were named after the only guy in my life who looked out for me with zero ulterior motives. He literally just cared about me because he's a genuinely nice person. He deserves some recognition for that. This post bad. Next post. <laughs> we had an intense game of fetch today. He was huffing and puffing and I had to take the photo. Oh, little, little pupper cat. Oh, look at his little collar and his happy little face and his cute little eyes and his butt and nose. I love him. I want to give him pets while he falls asleep from the good game. Fifth grade, we were making little clay statues and mine came out shitty. So I left a big air pocket in it so it would explode when the teacher put it in the kiln. And it exploded so hard it destroyed 10 other kids statues and they're all on the verge of tears. I thought it was really funny. I still do. 
So you basically planted a bomb. Man, nowadays you'd get suspended for that shit. Like, that is such a horrible, gross kid thing to do, and it's... Yeah, I would have done it. My worst fear about writing this book is people liking it, and the characters, and wanting to know more about them, like their birthdays and stuff, just because I just don't know. For all intents and purposes, they just spawn into existence. Please don't ask me what the main character's zodiac signs are, because I don't know. You're the opposite of JK Rowling, and I respect you for that. That's the only thing I've ever expired to be in my writing, and it's very sexy of you to say it! Man, honestly, JK Rowling, she spawned a bunch of books, and then she got on Twitter, and she spawned a bunch of really terrible opinions. I just think that modern politics are a lot like Harry Potter. How? They are a lot like Harry Potter, do not question me! If your family ever feels dysfunctional, just remember that my parents got divorced and didn't tell each other where they were moving to, so they ended up moving into the same neighborhood and becoming neighbors! My life is literally a sitcom, and that does sound hilarious and unfortunate, but also, spicy vagina tacos. Are we not going to talk about this person's username? How can I avoid it? Oh my god, I got it! It's Ariel and Vagina Fish Taco! It works on many levels! Bad idea for a romantic comedy. The chief of police is married to a mob boss, and they have to keep- And they have to j keep just failing to catch each other. When one of them hits the other in a shootout, it's followed by, Oh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. So how was your day at work? You freaking shot me! That was my day at work! We clearly have different definitions of bad. Yeah, I'd watch it. Wasn't there a, a spy movie like this? It was like Mr. and Mrs. Smith where they were just two opposing, like, what's it called? Two opposing spies and they were basically in an endless game of like cat and mouse with each other. Anyway, that's all the time we have for r slash Tumblr today. If you liked what you saw, there's gonna be another one popping up on your screen in a moment here. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell as that helps us make Reddit content every single day. And as always, my name has been Lumo and I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a lovely day.